would you recommend installing a Trinov into your studio? Oh yes, 100% yes. Um, and the reason I say 100% yes is because I had this Dolby Atmos studio, right? And I had it after I was waiting. I, I bought a Trinov. I, I had a Trinov. Um, it had to be custom made um, and, and for, for this setup. Um, so I, I've got this Trinov. Um, it took two weeks for um, one to arrive, right? Um, and in that two weeks, I was without a Trinov. And I had my room set up and I set my room up. Uh, I sat down with um, the guys from SX. Uh, Dal came in and we, we calibrated it as best as we could. Um, and it was calibrated really well and it sounded great. And we was we was in there and we was like, yes, this, this is sounding really good. And there was a few little things that um, phase issues as we come around the sides of the room. And as you pan round, you could you could kind of hear that. And um, and the room, the room look the room sounded good we were mixing in it and um we were enjoying mixing in it and everything sounded not perfect it was it was far from perfect but it sounded good and good for me is not okay perfect is okay i don't settle for good so we 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 had our trend of coming we knew it was coming and um we weren't prepared for just how much difference uh, the Trinob was going to make. Uh, so we installed it, put it in, uh, calibrated the room. It took about probably about seven, six, seven minutes to calibrate the room. Calibrated the whole room. Obviously, a stereo setup would calibrate in about 30, 40 seconds. On uh, 15 speakers, calibrates the room. It took about seven minutes to calibrate. But once it was calibrated, you can then just go A to B. And my God. God, the difference was outstanding. Um, and I'm not just saying this, but it was unreal how much of a difference there was. So my experience was, uh, I'm standing there with Dow. We put it in, we hit play, and we went, okay, yep, Trinov in, that sounds, that sounds good. I can hear that that sounds, I can hear there's, you know, I can hear that this room now sounds perfect. I can, yeah, this, this sounds amazing. But then what kind of gave it its, its what, what basically made it incredible was we then switched it back and we went from A to B because we have that reference point of A to B. We then went, whoa. You could, and it was like, oh my God, you could hear the difference from A to B. And bearing in mind, we thought that before was, was good. We, we said, yes, yeah, sounds, sounds fine. But then, wow, when you switch it on and the room just, just becomes this, uh, the, the way I, I did an interview with Trinov recently. And the way I explained it to them was it was like, you put a G bus compressor. Like if you're ever working on an SSL console on a big console and you're mixing down on console and then you insert the G bus compressor over the whole mix and start compressing the, the mix bus on the G bus and the, the, the kind of what, what everybody calls the glue glues the mix together and the mix just come comes together. Um, that is like what the Trinov is. It's, it's like a, it's like a, bus that it's like a processor on the mix bus on the stereo on the atmos out on the 9.1.4 out um that literally just glues the room together and makes it this whole cohesive surrounding around you um like for instance when when panning um when panning around the room in Dolby Atmos, so you'll pan like around you like this, and then you can go over your head and, you know, in, in like a, a dome shape. So you can pan around the room. And when panning around the room with the Trinov off, I pan down there and, you know, I it, it feels a bit disjointed. I come around the front, pan around the left, and I can hear it feels disjointed from speaker to speaker, right? <clears throat> And you can hear that that sound is is 
<laughs> kind of like that. <clears throat> um, the difference between when now when the Trinov's on is sound just goes flows around you perfectly. Like there's no dip in sound. Like it doesn't when you pan round to here, it doesn't get quiet. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't dip. It doesn't phase at all as it moves from speaker to speaker. It perfectly transitions around the room, and that's that's what's important when it comes to the Trinov. I'll tell you a real real good thing that um, when when we had the Trinov when we had the Trinov off, uh, and we weren't mixing it with a Trinov on, what I found that I was doing was sounds that I was positioning here, for instance. I was positioning them kind of left and right of me. Um, I was I was purposely not panning to, I think it was around this point here. I would either go there or I would either go in front of it there. I would, I would avoid this section here. And the reason for that was, was there was an error in that section of the room. So... When I come around to there, there was the 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 way the this speaker and this speaker were positioned. Um, <clears throat> going in between those, there was a point in between those that where phase would would happen, where the the distance between the speaker and my ears weren't calibrated. So there was there was a phase at that point. So I would physically avoid putting sound there, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it sounds bad there. It's just it sounds bad to my ears there. Now, the difference is, is once the Trinov was put in, the the Trinov was put in, everything sounded good wherever it was down there. So it didn't matter. So that just, just kind of shows you how important a Trinov is because I'm choosing not to put a sound here based on how it's sounding, but it doesn't sound like that. In real life, it sounds great there. But in this room at the time with the Trinov off, it didn't sound good there. So I wasn't putting it there and I was having to put it front or back. So now with the Trinov on, I'm able to make accurate decisions. And that's what a Trinov does is it really gives you the accuracy of knowing that wherever you're putting the sound in the room, it's right based on you are hearing it correctly. And that's all down to the reassurance that the Trinov does. Um, so how important is a Trinov? For me, I couldn't live without one now. Um, especially in a Dolby Atmos studio, you have to have a Trinov. I honestly, I honestly say you have to have a Trinov. And that is, that's based on my own personal experience because I know my mixes that uh, I was doing before the Trinov was put in, I was making corrections based on on inaccurate audio listening. I wasn't hearing it correctly. So I was making decisions based on what I was hearing, which wasn't right. So the decisions I was making were directly being affected by the sounds I was hearing. Now, none of that problem. Now I make all the right decisions based on the fact that I am hearing everything 100% correctly. 